In certain cases, it may make sense to attach the charging receptacle of the C-Leg 4 prosthetic knee joint at the ankle or knee area. If an extension to the ankle is required, the 4X156 charger extension cable can be used for this purpose. The product 4X157 can be used to extend the charger cable to the top of the knee. After the O&P professional determined the position of the charger extension cable together with the user, the tube is cleaned at the specified position with a damp cloth and mild soap. Installing the 4X156 First, the O&P professional opens the cover of the charging receptacle on the knee joint and then plugs in the charger extension cable. Next, the cable is wrapped around the tube adapter. The O&P professional then positions the bracket of the charging receptacle on the tube and secures it with the corresponding O-ring. Finally, the cable and the charging plug are secured with adhesive tape. If necessary, any space between the charging plug and foam cosmetic cover can be filled with the pad pieces included in the scope of delivery. The small O-ring can be used for up to three attached pad pieces and the large O-ring for four or more. 4X157 Installation First, the O&P professional opens the cover of the charging receptacle on the knee joint and then plugs in the charger extension cable. Next, the charging receptacle of the charger extension cable is plugged into the frame of the knee joint and the O-ring is then hooked into the bracket of the charging receptacle. Finally, the O&P professional inserts the counterpart piece of the charging receptacle into the O-ring and then places it around the knee joint. Finally, the counterpart piece of the charging receptacle is hooked on the opposite frame side of the knee joint. The cable and the charging plug are attached to the frame with adhesive tape. Following installation of the charger extension cable, the O&P professional also checks the charging function of the knee joint. After connecting the charger, the knee joint emits a beep signal and shortly after that a three times vibration signal. If there are no feedback signals, the joint is not charged. In this case, check if the charger was connected correctly.